Hello, welcome to Backyard Chickens with Lee the Chicken Guy. Uh, this is the first episode of 2012. Well, I've not done one of these in a while. I've been very, very busy. Uh, a lot of stuff has changed. Uh, new location, and we got a lot more new chickens. We even got a brand new rabbit we'll show you on there, and more coming. We got a lot to go on right here. A lot of new buildings being built. Since I've changed locations, we had to do, redo some stuff. But I I got these chickens in some temporary cages, but I just recently got about 10 new chickens in the last four days or three days, and I really want to show them to you. And I want to say thank you to the people who donated them to me. I appreciated that. And I'm still looking for more chickens, more young hens, and uh, whatever else you may have. I'm looking for roosters, ducks, um, peacocks. I'm looking for um, turkeys and everything. So. I'm going to take you right over here to the backyard where I got all these chickens piled up right now. Uh, these are in temporary little slots until next week. That's when the building, will, the new building, the chicken coop and pen will start being built. They'll have plenty of room to run around and all that good stuff. And I can't wait until it gets done. Once it gets done, the building will have, the coop will have webcam access. So when you, if you go to my website, you'll be able to see 24-7 webcam of the chicken coop. So. Welcome take back you over to there right now. Uh, right here is one of the new ones. Uh, she is a blue wine dot. She's about three and a half, four years old. Yeah, I know she's too, maybe too old to be laying some eggs, but I don't care. I love chickens so much. I just love having them, and uh, they'd be fun to look at and study. And uh, behind her, if you can see her. That is a blue lace wine dot. She's very beautiful, and uh, I've got a few pictures of her on Facebook, my Facebook, uh, and uh, they're very beautiful. I got them a couple of days ago. Uh, they're in this little makeshift thing I got for them, and uh, everything like that. Hopefully, the uh, chicken coop and pen won't take long to put together. And also, from the same people that gave me these, I got these little things from, these girls. They're also, they, I think they are four, four and a half years old. They're Americanas. Um, and everything like that. I don't really, I was thinking about naming these Mary-Kate and Ashley. The uh, Americana twins. But I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know in the weeks to come. And, uh, I'm working on a name for these two little girls too. The blue one, the lady said, uh, always was trying to latch, hatch eggs and they were successfully laid the eggs that could hatch because they didn't have a rooster. So they got a egg from their brother and she put it under the, under this blue one and I think this one right here behind her is what she hatched out. If my story, is, uh, the, if I got the story right. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. I'm uh, hoping you can see them. The camera I'm used to ain't the best camera in the world, but it will do what I need to do. So that's them. They're real beautiful. And then I got these little girls. The Buffets. They also uh, came from Kevin. They're just in this for temporary. He gave me five of these, which only four is in here. I got the other one put up in another cage with the, uh, the little rooster I think he gave me. Real beautiful. I think he said they're going on right at four years old. Another one's that possibly would pass. They, may, they might lay one or two more eggs maybe, but I ain't too sweating it. I just wanted them, and I can't wait to get the coop built again so they can have plenty of room to run around and have fun in. I don't have no names for none of these either yet. I just got these yesterday, about one o'clock. So, again, I, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these girls. Just sitting back watching them, having fun. All right, right here's the other two that I got from Kevin. Now last year I got two roosters from Kevin, the name Fireball and uh, Checkers. But here's what I got from another one. Like I said, there's a Buffett, and I'm guessing I don't know 
he said that this came out of his flock which I guess may have some uh, Dominecker in her not in it or maybe something he's real pretty I don't remember what he said she he was but he's real pretty I think he's young he's not if it's a rooster he's not crowing yet so but he's real beautiful uh, he uh, he's a little bit skittish he's a little scared of some of these other hens I try to put him in there with the uh, two uh, blue lace wine dot and the blue wine dot and he was running from them I hope you can see him he's trying to hide from me here I just got him in here just a few minutes I'm gonna put him back in probably put him back down the ground in the uh, other cage a little bit and I put this one's also came with you know they was all together when I got them so I'm trying to keep them all together and uh, so she's real beautiful big and thick I think he's about she's about going on four and I'm I don't know how old that one is maybe a four or five months maybe Let me see I don't know not very old I don't think and again it could, you know I don't know what it is if you might want to guess what kind it is that you can always write me or leave it on comment and like I said I got these yesterday about one o'clock below is the original chicken some of the original chickens I've had I go miss red right there's miss red uh, there's miss piggy which is a silver lace wine dot speedy sunshine buttercups Cindy, uh, the black one next to the pole is Elvira, and the other one's Pookie, the black sex link. So, again, I got a lot of work to do here. Um, I can't wait to get, uh, I'll show you. This area all right here is getting to be cleaned out starting Monday. Uh, hopefully by Monday or by the middle of next week. And right here, very right here where the rabbit cage is sitting, where I'm at right now, where was the chicken coop built. And the rest of this will be some uh, uh, wire and netting. That way the chicken hawks can't get to them. And they'll be able to go way back in the woods where it's a creek and everything. So they're going to have plenty of room to have fun in. I can't wait to have it done. Part of the mess. Uh, we just moved here about a little bit before Christmas. So I think it's very nice and I can't wait to get everything going. Um, I, it is a certain type of roosters, hens I am still looking for and I'm going to have the listings below to um, what kind I'm looking for. Um, but like I said, I'll take about anything. I love chickens and all kinds of ducks and stuff. So it's going to be fun. I'm getting ready to show you my rabbit in a minute. His name is Buster. I got him about mm, maybe four weeks ago. I just ain't had a chance to film him and put him on. So it'll be on here in just a second. So if you like rabbits, just tune into that. I know I'm lead the chicken guy, but I love all animals. As a matter of fact, we just got a new dog just a little while ago. Uh, my fiance. Uh, and my wife will be uh, posting that up so uh, stay tuned to her Facebook or YouTube and you'll see it uh, a lot more to go so um, like I said I still want to uh, do a backyard uh, chicken tour around the Hamptonville Boonville East Bend Yakinville Statesville wherever if you got a chicken coop and you or, or no, you know, raise chickens, hatch chickens, and if you want to share your secrets or share your place, please uh, free, uh, excuse me, feel free to write me, email me, uh, or contact me. Let me know the information and how to get there, and I would love to come out there and check it out and film it, and you can help us out with some of the questions we may have, or maybe other chicken coop people, maybe people that want to get into chickenry. Uh, you can help them out. Matter of fact, I got people overseas wanting to know how to build a homemade incubator, which I built last year and hatched a few chickens out of. And I'm going to show you all how to do that. Of course, there's already a lot of cool videos out here already on YouTube that shows you how to do it. But I'll show you how I'm going to go in. We're going to go inside to show you the rabbit. And then I'll wrap this up. Uh, 
I hope you enjoy my chickens. And like I said, hopefully in about two weeks, uh, we'll be showing you the new location, the new look and everything like that. So uh, it's been fun, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Welcome back to Lead the Chicken Guy, Backyard Chicken, Chicken Town USA. Like I said, I was going to show you Buster, the rabbit. He's a lion head. I got him about the... Uh, about four Thursdays ago, about four months. He's about, I think, five months and a half now. Uh, when I got him, he was four and a half. Uh, his, uh, his real name, the one we got him from the boy, and the, his boy, young boy, his name was Gilbert. So I call him Buster the Fuzz Gilbert. He's pretty. He's sitting back eating lettuce. Got some rabbit food there with some corn with it. And uh, just got to clean out his cage. So he should be good for a few days. Let's see if I can get a little closer shot of him here at Buster. There he is. And he don't mind being rubbed, as you can see. But he does not like being picked up. I'll tell you that right now. I hope you can see him. He's chilling on some lettuce right now. He likes eating that. I like giving him fresh lettuce and carrots. I'm looking for a female to put with him because I like to get some babies. I sure do. So hopefully I'll find a female for long. If you live around the Hamptonville area and you got a lion head female babies or baby, a female lion head, don't matter what color. Uh, and you want to get rid of uh, please uh, contact me my email will be below got any questions comments you can leave them below and uh, I do have some questions still yet on rabbits so anybody wants to try to answer some of my questions uh, do that as well by writing me or leaving them on the comment he's just chilling let's see if I can get a front shot of him no matter I'm getting biting the camera. Uh, my, oh shoot, my camera's stuck. Oh, never mind. Now let's try this one more time. Please look over the mess. We've been going about all day. And that's how you go. He's in there eating. I don't know if they like big wood in the thing, but I put this piece of wood in there about a month ago. Or not a month ago. A few days ago. What a week ago. He sure che chewed a lot of the bark off of it. Of course, he's got his little toy hidden back here. He likes chewing on. And I gotta get us some more treats. But anyway, until next time, please tune in next week to another episode of Backyard Chickens with Lee the Chicken Guy in Chicken Town, USA.